But he has to be careful. And a tough night for Dillian White in terms of looking good. Dillian White, that. And John Lewis not picking up on anything. Tennis does, the heads coming quite dangerously together a couple of times. He won't be like Robin Hellenius at the Principality that went into his shell and it was against Anthony Joshua, but added advantage in speed as well. But they were talking, Team Brown, about the... Not coming forward, taking any real chances. Dillian just boxing nice to go on that jab, and he's having some success with that. Look good against. Against Hellenius, when you've got somebody who's negative and under-motivated, it's difficult to get something. No need to this early on. And his flexibility and... Set the pace. There's a cut as well, left eye, and it's happened to Lucas Brown before. And there's a right hand from White right into it. That's a nice right from Dillian White. It's almost slow motion from Brown. Good work from Dillian White at the World Heavyweight title. Fury, he's trained hard, Brown, and he had to. This is a big opportunity. Tries to close the race down, but White almost expressionless. Lucas Brown as he tries to chuck out a right hand. I think he's... His time's limited now with that cut. As you said, it's, it's really bad. It's looking jagged up and it's above the eye. So as soon as the blood starts flowing, it will blind him in that left eye. Difficult situations back home in Australia, but he is being absolutely punished every time. And if White engages with him... What of Lucas Brown? He's trained in Australia, been here part of the setup. A global team for Lucas Brown. Absolutely bashing him up here with body and head shots. To come on to him. It's good defence here. Good defence from Dillian White. Late dramatic finish and here comes Lucas Brown trying the right hands and the big uppercuts. He knows that eye is really bad. Good right hand from White. And Referee in John Lewis, very experienced. He can see all the blood pouring now. Real mess of Lucas Brown's face. He's going to be blind in that left eye. Now his breathing's going to be impaired. And that's that's the job of Dylan White. He's doing it. And he really is now planting his feet. And he feels this is the time to take out Lucas Brown. And of course, the positive tests. And White had former issues with those, which yet to serve a ban. Not taking any chances. Nothing wild. And Good shots from White. I mean, that right hand was a thunderous right hand that landed flush. Will that even hold up? And White takes his time, utilising his accuracy. A long, long time ago. And it looks a long, long, long way home now for Lucas Brown. His face a bloody mask towards the end of that round. Bad cut above the eyes. It's a terrible cut, Carl. Lucas Brown so far. Dillian White in total control, it's been the perfect start. Movement and then zero defence at times, it's, it's not good for him. Well, he's being busted up early. What Brown wants, and that was what he's doing. He says, come on then, let's have it. Big left hook from White, but it... Under the Ricky Hatton promotional banner. Ricky saying to us all week, it's a 50-50 fight, and... He just has to land. I'm hoping for the fans' sake, and for his own sake, there's oh, more to him. Big it, right hand there from Dillian White. And take this fight late. Who knows, he still carries power. But this is, this is a good work from White. And... Concentration, but he looks relaxed here, White. And he's showing the variety with body shots and that left hook at some point. the pace of Lucas Brown, if White can land three or four shots and then go again, land three or four more unanswered shots. So it's beam to America, this is good then for White. And he's really deep, wide, jagged cuts above his eye. Absolutely. And he's now getting, he's got nose damage and closed eyes. Good work from Dylan White. If you can't knock your opponent out, bust him up like he is doing here. He just needs to be careful because Brown, I suppose, always has a punter's chance. But throw that body shots, but just shows discipline, shows he's working on something. Right uppercut there, missing quite badly, but Lucas Brown coming forward. 
with really no game plan, looking very crude. Chagov won round after round, but that was a... And Lucas Brown just smiled at him. Unfortunately for him, he's badly caught up now around that left eye, complaining to the referee about the elbow. Nope, that was a right to the temple. He's been having some cuffing shots on the inside of the glove, and Bill and White sometimes has been forced to stoppage here. Targeting the body sensibly as well now. White. From a cut and maybe the nose also. The nose has gone as well, Carl. I think the game plan was just to land one big shot. And he's been rather inactive as well. Had that win over Matthew Greer back in New South Wales. And I think that slightly disorientated the big man. Brown coming forward, looking for one shot. His face a bloody mask. Sometimes you're not sure whether these punches are having an effect, but I'm sure he's comfortable. It's going to be difficult for Lucas Brown to land anything at this pace and this kind of punch speed. He's being outthought, outclassed. And he really is now planting his feet. And he feels this is the time to take out Lucas Brown. And of course, the positive tests. And White had former issues with those, which yet to serve a ban. I heard reports from sparring with Derek Chisora that he worked as a doorman for many years and was in all sorts of... There's the right from Brown. Maybe trying to mix it up a little bit there, switching south for... But still he gets blocked with the right hand. Nice left hand work. And the eye closing as well, it's swelling. Dylan White should just take his time and throw the one-two down the pipe because he cannot miss. That you spoke about through the analysis. They're beckoning Brown, Dillian White. Yeah, this is a punishing performance from White, who's got it spot on. And I'm not the most compassionate person, but I'm sending him out for one more round. He's got nose damage and closed eyes. Good work from Dylan White. Big combinations. Lucas Brown. Which I'm hoping for the fans' sake and for his own sake, there's oh, more to him. Big right hand there from Dillian White. And take this fight late. Who knows, he still carries power. But Try and chuck one more, but he can't, and the left hand lays him out! Dillian White is victorious! And it's a dramatic finish after a punch-perfect display. And our attention just goes to Lucas Brown, because that was a heavy fall. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 37 seconds of round number six, the winner by knockout victory, still the WBC silver heavyweight champion, the fighting pride of Brixton, London, England, Dillian, the body snatcher. for watching Boxing Jab. We hope you enjoyed the latest highlights from the world of boxing. If you're a fan of these boxing legends, be sure to watch our new videos to stay up to date on all the greatest matches. We'll bring you the best highlights from the biggest fights, as well as analysis and interviews with the top fighters in the sport. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.